hey guys welcome back to this channel okay kingpin i'm not gonna lie i'm not going to lie my expectations for this event was i don't know what it, i just thought it was very low obviously the actual event hasn't started yet but i have never watched the kingpin event so whenever i hear people talking about it they always say that it's low production low this not that very good not very professional so i i can't lie i came in watching this press conference to be very low budget but i was very pleasantly surprised like it was very high quality production it looked really good like it was top notch honestly kingpin i can't lie i might do a separate video but misfits you don't need to be a bit worried you got some competition i'm not gonna lie they've got some competition because kingpin's looking good right now the whole event was very good just seeing all the fighters and this whole draw is like it was so interesting to watch i wasn't that interested in the females no offense i know that's kind of rich coming from me because i'm a female but like I just weren't really that interested because the only woman there that I know is L Brooke. Like, I didn't really care too tough about the other ones because I just don't know them. I only know L Brooke. I do like the fact that the sister, I like the fact that the sister's in it because that could get very interesting. Because if L Brooke and her sister both win their fights, they could potentially in the next one have to fight each other. Now, that would be very interesting. Like, I, I, I actually want to see that. Because I don't know if that's ever been done before, but that would be very interesting to see how that's navigated and just how they'll go about that. So I thought the fact that there's sisters in there is, and the fact that they could potentially fight each other, that's very interesting. So that that's what intrigued me with the, the women fighting. But moving on to the men's. Ooh. I was actually very intrigued. Before they even started the draw with the men, they played a video of Jay Swingler basically saying why he can't come. I thought it was a joke at first. I thought it was like, yeah, I'm not going to come. And then automatically he just shows up as like a surprise. I fully thought he was going to come because he was in the thumbnail. I'm like, if he's not going to be a part of it, why is he in the thumbnail? But he's really like pulled out. And people are saying he's scared. I low-key feel like the fight he had with Nick knocked back his confidence. But I still feel like... He still has enough potential to win against some people in this tournament. So it's a bit of a shame that he's not in it because I would have liked to see him in this in this tournament. But it is what it is. And he like he would have brought a lot of eyes because he has quite a big fan base from where he's from. So that was a bit unfortunate. First fight that's going to happen is King Kenny versus the guy with the glasses. I'm so sorry. I don't know his name. I forgot it. But the smiley boy with the glasses, that's the first fight. I have no idea how the boy with the glasses fights apparently he's had three fights and he's actually quite good so i'm very interested to see how kenny fights him because kenny i can't lie you're gonna have to do this in a big fashion because your last fight not only was it kind of boring but you didn't throw you did not throw so hopefully hopefully you throw that's all i'm asking kenny just throw even if you don't win just throw please the fact that gib picked up Austin McBroom. I was shocked. I'm gonna play the footage because I was recording it. Ooh. No way! No way! No way! <laughs> I was so shocked. And I knew as soon as I looked to the comments, all I could see was rigged, 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 rigged. I'm like, come on guys. That must have been 14 or 13 or 15 year olds. Because, bro, how is it rigged? It's obviously not rigged. It's literally a three out of four chance. So it's like, or a one out of three chance. Like, it was obviously could have, there was a big chance that it could have been Austin. And it was. So it's not rigged, guys. Jarvis versus Zanetti. I can't lie. I don't know too much about Jarvis. All I know is that he did spar with Floyd Mayweather. So that is, he's probably picked up a lot of skills from him. And Zanetti, I don't know why, but I've grown to love Zanetti. I just love the fact that he said they're getting paid big money just to fight. Like, I love how he just owned up to it. Like, I just love, I just like his energy. Like, he really just comes with it. You could just tell that he's here for a good time. Like, he really don't care about losing too tough. I think he just likes, he just likes the thrill and excitement of fighting. That's how he comes across to me. And I've just really grown to love Zanetti. I'm not, I'm rooting for Zanetti, but I feel like Jarvis would win. But 
we'll just have to wait and see but i'm excited for this fight as well because zanetti is a good watch that like, he is a dog and we've got the guy who doesn't speak english sorry i, I forgot his name but him versus someone mystery i'm sorry but if deji was there yeah why is he not fighting i fully thought because when i saw him in the audience like oh he's gonna be the surprise but he's not like i don't know if he's got some tight contract with misfits but deji's said that he wants to fight three times this year babe why have you not signed the contract to fight then fight in kingpin I get that your brother owns Misfits and they're kind of like rivals now, the whole Misfits and and um, Kingpin. But bro, you want to fight three times, just join on this tournament, bro. Just join it, Deji. Sign the contract. Uh, sign the contract and fight. Simple. So like, I don't really know why Deji was there if he was just going to, you know, stand there. I love Deji, but like, bro, like, come on, like, sign the contract and just fight, like. If you want to fight three times, prove it and just sign the contract and do it. But yeah, like this is going to be very interesting. I can't wait to watch it. I'm going to do prediction in tomorrow's video. But put in the comments down below what you thought of the whole Kingpin event. I thought it was really good. The press conference was really good. And I just can't wait. So yeah, see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.